Letter carriers and U.S. leaders are pushing for better support. Eight groups rallied statewide for the Day of Action. Tia Ewing is here with their demands. Tia? I don't think this comes as a shock, Sylvia and Terrence, that the number one demand here is safety. We've talked about that time and time again right here on our newscast. Over the past two years, union leaders report that more than 140 letter carriers have been attacked right here in the city of Chicago. Mail carriers and union leaders rallied, calling for increased protection. They were joined by Congresswoman Robin Kelly, Congressman Chuy Garcia and Illinois State Treasurer Michael Frerix. The group is urging their postmaster and elected officials to take action on policies and legislation to safeguard members who provide essential public services. Citing the July killing of Octavia Redman, she was on her mail route when she was shot in West Pullman. Something needs to be done. So we call it for more safety measures in Chicago. Yeah. Something needs to be done. We cannot keep going out here risking our lives. And as I always say that we are the number one delivery and we want to get home to our families. So something needs to be done. We have asked for that. We're calling on new leadership in Chicago, all the way from the postmaster general, all the way to local postmasters and a district manager, because they don't care about the employees. They don't understand what we're facing out there each and every day as we go out there in fear. Now, on a federal level, back in March, the Protect Our Letter Carriers Act was introduced in both chambers of Congress. Little movement has happened on that. The legislation proposes amending sentencing guidelines to make the assault or robbery of a postal employee equivalent to the assault of a law enforcement officer. Terrence?